Good day everybody, this is Peter from Telstra Productions and welcome back to Star Trek Online. We're playing on a free-to-play account starting with the 23rd century Starfleet character and I've just completed Stranded in Space and then I've spent a little bit of time going through some um, duty officers and some housekeeping and now we are just moving on to diplomatic orders. So I'm going to dive straight into this, focus on getting this episode done because I remember from eight years ago if this is exactly the same mission, then it's quite interesting. We have a diplomatic mission for you. An important Vulcan ambassador is traveling from his homeworld to the monastery at Pajen. Capturing the ambassador would be a major coup for the Klingons or Orions. So we're assigning you to make sure everything goes smoothly. You are to escort Ambassador Soketh to Pajem. Please meet him at Vulcan. Once you locate him, speak with him about the transport mission. Do whatever is necessary to keep him safe. Lovely. Okay, let's do it. Where on the map is Vulcan? Let's head there. And because my ship's so slow... I do know, I went all the way there last time, didn't I? Yeah, that's cool. We'll just stay on. Um, right. One thing I do want to do before we get there is get rid of Mulcrea and get my new engineering officer into position. So I'm going to discharge him. I didn't like him anyway, and now he's not wearing the EV suit. There's just no reason to have him around. There we go. So now, how do I find my other possible bridge officers? Where do I find them? Anybody? Is it in stations? There we go, show. Uh, right, so it's the Vulcan engineering officer. I'll be commissioning. Join. Beautiful. That's exactly what we want to do. I do not like that stance at all. Oh, you don't actually walk around like that, do you? No. Well, okay, fine. <laughs> fine. Um, and I'll put you... Oh, you're already there, yeah. So you could be to pen. That's fine. It just doesn't, it isn't showing the name there for some reason. And then I might as well take you with me here as well, because you have some decent ground abilities that I really like. So, Chroniton Mine Barrier, Shield Generator, and Quantum Mortar Fabrication. I love all of those. And would love to be able to do them myself. Cool. There we go. That is all of the housekeeping I wanted to do. Now we can get straight into the mission. Captain, we've arrived at the Vulcan system. I took the liberty of contacting the Ambassador's aide when we arrived. Tapella says that the Ambassador has certain arrangements that he prefers when travelling. She would like to go over them with you. Would you like me to put her on the main view screen? Greetings. On screen. Thank you for agreeing to escort the Ambassador to Pajem. Ambassador Soketh is currently attending a ritual to honour the end of the Kal Rek holiday. He will be done soon. But the Ambassador is hesitant to use transporter technology. His bias against the transporters is not logical, but I have come to accept it. <laughs> I believe that Soket would be much more comfortable traveling by shuttlecraft. I have received hints for you to land with the ambassador's location. I look forward to meeting you in person. Awesome. Okay, fair enough. Um, board shuttle? I can just go from here. Okay. Cool. We're ready to land on Vulcan, sir. When you're ready to make a final approach, let me know. I don't think this shuttle is a 23rd century shuttle. So what's it doing on my Constitution class starship? I guess I'll let them off, but that would have been nice. But that, did you see those statues there holding on to the Star melee weapons? This or one of those? Whoever's flying the shuttlecraft has um, been drinking, I think. There you go, one of those melee weapons. Who this guy's holding. Yeah, this... <laughs> wow, it's a bit all over the place, isn't it? Captain, the Ambassador is Zeta waiting for us at the temple at the top of the rise. We can speak to them there and find out if the Ambassador needs anything else from us before we depart for Pajem. Let's go. Um, at the top of the rise, this way. Or this way. Oh wow, that's one hell of a rise. 
It's a beautiful planet. I love the colours. Beautiful. It's a long run though. Anyone I can talk to on the way? What are you guys doing? Let's go. I really like this. This is really well designed. I, re I remember it being not as pretty as this. It being a bit more barren, maybe. Wow, did two guys just walked off the edge of this. Did you see that? They just fell. Right off here. And they survived. Wow. Okay. Let's talk. Welcome to Vulcan. Do you have any questions? Uh, what business do you my have at the gym? My business is my own. <laughs> if you must know more, I require a meeting with the abbot. He will not use subspace communications. So if I am to receive his counsel, I need to meet with him directly. Do you have any questions? Oh, you're ready this to leave. This is ridiculous. Access to the gem is strictly limited to preserve the sanctity of the monastery. No outsiders are permitted to land without the express permission of Savin, the leader of the Order of the Priests that maintains the planet. Ordinarily, this would not present any difficulty, but Savin has chosen this moment to illogically question my visiting the monastery. He is refusing to grant leave for me to meet with the abbot at Pajem. Can this trip wait until Savin has changed his mind? If I do not complete my journey to Pajem now, I will have to delay it until after the trade conference at Corridan is complete. And that could take weeks. I wonder why Savin won't grant you permission. I fear I've spent too much time off work. While I find it easy to deal with others, my own people can be stubborn. Perhaps you could speak to Savin. I know he has a great deal of respect for Starfleet and you might have an easier time than I have. Oh, let me speak to Seven then. Okay. Oh, he's here. Peace and long life. Do you? you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Um, wow, that's a lot of talking to do. Uh, let's just, yeah, Seka says you won't permit him to visit. Sarketh accuses me of abandoning logic, but he is the one refusing to explain his reasons for wanting to go to Pajem. The planet is sacred. Our ancestors walked those paths. They found understanding and serenity in its quiet. When I am at Pajem, I feel more at peace than any place else in the galaxy. Pajem has been touched by outside influences in the past. The Federation is at war. Now more than any other time, we must protect this refuge. Do you see oh, that was a lot of talking. Of the ancestors? Is there any way I could persuade you to show to allow Sokath to visit Pajem. I will permit it if you will pledge to me on your honor as a Starfleet officer that you will protect Pajem from harm. Sokath says his reasons for wanting to speak to the Abbot are private. I will accept that, but only if you are with him. I know I can trust Starfleet. Please, protect Pajem from any who would violate its sanctity. Nice that you trust me so much. Okay. I didn't get to actually agree to that. Do you have any questions? Uh, ooh. I've spoken to Seven. Why doesn't he trust How you? How should I know? He is a small man with small concerns. Thankfully, he has listened to reason. And our journey won't be delayed any longer. I am ready to leave now. Is the shuttle prepared for departure? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's fellow attend to the matter we were discussing earlier. I'm leaving with the captain to board the shuttle. Peace and long life. Yes, Ambassador. Have a safe journey. Live long and prosper. Come on. Lead on, Captain. My business here is concluded. Cool. Will you just follow me? Yeah. Um, he seemed to get a little bit angry during that conversation. Not very Vulcan of him. Like I say, I guess if, if he's been spending a lot of time with offworlders, he might be uh, succumbing to some emotion. I'm sure that's a thing. Not very fast, is he? Come on, Soketh, get into my thimble-sized shuttlecraft. If the takeoff's any smoother. We have logged your flight trajectory, and you are cleared for departure. Oh, no. <laughs> Live long oh, wow. And yeah, that, that could have been made better. 
Oh, okay. I can talk to him. Yeah. I need to meditate and prepare for my meeting with the abbot at Fajem. If you have no objections, I will retire to my quarters. Please notify me when we have arrived at our destination. Once again, you have my gratitude for your assistance. You're just going to stay on the shuttle? I'm trying to look outside. Where are we? Have we landed back on the ship? We must have. Landed. Docked. Here we go. Ambassador Soketh has retired to his quarters, Captain. We can leave the system whenever you like. Depart. Okay. Do I get as good a deal though as if I were to use the Azura Personal Com? Do I get as much money from selling to the replicator? I'm sure. I'm sure not. But that says the value is 2257. I'm only getting 902 for it. We we'll try. Okay. Alright, we'll leave it. Let's just head to Pajem. Not far. It's right here. Do some selling in a bit. Continue. So I'm picking up an unusual energy reading in the system. We should scan the system before to take the ambassador to the surface. Wow, I messed that one up. Agreed, sensors are maximum. <clears throat> That's it. Cling on ships to cloaking, sir. Ooh, okay. Captain, we're being hailed by the Klingons. Putting them on screen now. You have a foul shape changer aboard your ship. Turn the creature over to us, or we will destroy you. Shape changer? What do you mean? That foul beast on your ship is an undine. They put on a false face and try to control us, but we Klingons know better. We will hunt them down until the last of those honorless dogs dies screaming. My patience is limited. Speak quickly. Uh, okay, so the Undine, for those that don't know, are species 8472. Um, and by shape changer, I guess they can take human form. Obviously, they um, did it in a, a Voyager episode, didn't they? Do you have any proof of these accusations? Doubt my word. Yes. Insult my honor. I have killed men for less. I have nothing to prove to the likes of you. Turn that so-called ambassador over to me now, or face the consequences. Okay, shields up, red alert. Let's do it. Kuldun, bird of prey. I don't know if I need to keep pressing that, actually. Did I already have the book? I might have. I can't remember. Ooh. Decent damage. Turns so they're hitting different shields. Okay, he's cloaked. Bird of Prey is so weak. Well, not weak, I mean, they're, they're very powerful, obviously, but uh, they are fickle. I guess flimsy, is that the right word? The sensors are showing multiple Klingon life signs on the surface. The monks may be in danger. I recommend that we send an away team down immediately. Alert the ambassadors to meet the away team at the transporter room. Captain, the situation on the ground may be too dangerous for the ambassador to be on the surface. I recommend that he remains in the quarters until he's safe. I mean, I don't think I would have suggested the ambassador beaming down with an away team into a battle zone. That seems like a silly thing to have suggested. Pillar Meridian. The away team is ready to transport. Um, I'm not actually going to beam down yet. There are some scanning-y things to do. And there are six of them. Oh. 
All right. Okay, I'm going to speed this up. Go. There you go. That's how you get all those. So let's um, beam down now. Uh, oh, you look so out of place, Tapen. I might have to change your appearance. Yeah, I hate that stance. Okay, here we go. Captain, we need to secure the area and then make our way toward the monastery, which is located at the top of the hill. Of course, I'm reading multiple Klingon patrols between us and the main building, so I recommend we proceed with caution. Stay alert. We need to find the monks. Okay. Team. Do we know what we're doing? Um, have I even equipped to pen with anything? I haven't, have I? Um, oh, and I just realised I think I lost everything that Mulcrea had on him. It does warn you. Wow. Okay. So yeah, I think that is the case, which means it depends getting one of those. Yeah. Oh, wow. Really, when you dismiss a bridge officer, it should put the stuff into your inventory, but no, I guess it is it is still my fault. I did read that um, earlier on when I was checking and totally forgot to do it. All right, let's go ahead. She's got some cool abilities, though, so she's still useful, even without a proper weapon. Um, How far am I... Okay, so we've got a long way to go. All right, let's do it. Pull this guy while he's patrolling around. That was a Klingon I just killed. First Klingon in the 25th century, I believe. Um, all right, so I'm meant to just be proceeding up the hill, but can I do anything to save people on the way? Doesn't look like it. No? Hello, warrior. There seem to be random warriors running around. Not sure why. Um, are we all good? I will therefore proceed up the hill. There is going to be a, a concentrated group of Klingons eventually. It's not. Oh, here we go, actually. Not just going to be random running ones. I was out of that. I was definitely out of that. You got anything good around here? My photon grenade launcher doing great work there. Getting slightly quicker each time. So I'm still heading the right way. Yeah, there's a crate. Okay. Let's figure out what I'm going to do with these tribbles, actually. I might do some research into tribbles. Might make a video about that as well, why not? This is a full playthrough series after all. Okay. There's two big groups up there, I think. All together, so I'm gonna wait for that patrol to go away. Yeah. And I'm gonna come in and get this one. Let's do it. Get the flanking bonus going on, might as well. Get the photon um, grenade, is it? Yeah, photon grenade launcher. It fires so far up in the air. Oh, okay. I can talk. Please go to the monastery entrance and seek the abbot. Yeah, I will, I will. Can my uh, photon grenade launcher do something now? It, it just launched one. <gasps> that was it! Well, that did do some damage, actually, I think. That did some good work for the first time. Nothing seemed to be dropping from the Klingons. I'm, um, I'm really hoping for a melee weapon. <laughs> that is a requirement of this mission. For me, anyway. Uh, okay, no one around? Anything to scan? There is. I'm all over this scanning. Can I get... Oh, it's just a crate. Okay. 
thought it was going to be another scanning one. Oh, hello friends. There was no need for that really, was there? Maybe kill my photon grenade launcher on one here. Hello. Just a bunch of retainers. Oh, okay. So we've received, we're receiving an alert from Vulcan. Tapella says she must speak to you immediately. I'll patch it through to your tricolor. I have terrible news. Vulcan security forces have discovered the body of Ambassador Soket. They have determined that he was killed by a phaser blast at short range. His remains were discovered in a stasis chamber hidden in a cavern beneath the Ambassador's residence. The Ambassador on your ship, <laughs> the one that I have been working for, is an imposter. We should have known. This imposter was able to fool Sokka's closest associates for months. He is crafty and very patient. Now that he has been discovered, he will be dangerous. Okay. Captain, security teams have reached Ambassador Sokas quarters, but he's gone. They're searching the ship, but, sir, all authorized use of the transport is detected. The Vulcan government is requesting that the imposter Sokath be detained and returned to Vulcan for questioning. Sir, whomever used the transport to erase the logs, but I have a feeling that the imposter is on the planet's surface. I recommend we locate him immediately. We'll find him. There you go. Such that was easy. On your face. I see now my deception has been exposed. Pity. Capturing the abbot so we could replace him as well would have been beneficial. But we are strong. We will prevail. You are weak, and the weak shall perish. Oh, he disappeared. Oh, to pen, stop it. Oh. Oh, there he is. There you go. That is an Undine or a Species 8472. Cool. Okay, let's, um, let's just fight him, I guess. He's just stood there. Probably not a good idea getting into melee range, but, you know. He's going down quite quick. Ah. Lost you. Oh, okay. Was that a teleport? Oh no, he's stealthed. Bothersome creatures! Why should I trouble myself with such insignificant beings? When the Klingons will do <laughs> my work for me. Ah, okay. Nice walk. Warriors! Prepare for battle! Yes. There is sir. a group of Starfleet officers behind me! One of them is the foul shapeshifter. I'm returning to the ship. Don't let them leave this planet alive. <laughs> yes, sir. How did he know who the captain of the Klingon ship in orbit was? Hey, it doesn't matter. Okay. So I'm just going to do a little bit of scanning and then we'll chase after him. I assume we've got a few Klingons to kill. Let's go. There's still two anomalies left. I like this. There seems to be more anomalies than there used to be. Oh. Okay, I'm going to go for it. Is this back where I was before? Should I be going around here? Probably not. Yeah, this is about where I was before. Oh, I must have missed one before. Wow, okay. I'm being very, very thorough. More thorough than I uh, wanted to be, unfortunately. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to run all the way back up the hill and then around again. All because I missed a single crate. Actually, maybe I can just run across here. Let's try that. Okay, yeah, let's... 
jump and run. Some cliff face hugging. That's what we need. Well, I am, I'm going to go back up here, though, because I want to face those Klingons that were on the path. I don't want to skip them out. I think this is where I came off. Yeah, this looks right. Cool. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. Okay. Well, I guess it's down here, yeah. Okay, that's all right. I'm in the right place. Um, he's teleported away. Has he actually been to the ship? Probably as soon as he contacted the ship and said, beam me up, they were just like, but the captain's here. Interesting. Okay, that fight was particularly easy. I've got to scan the air, obviously, but I want to get this first. There's another one down there. Let's scan the area. Captain, it appears that the Undine has eluded us. However, I'm picking up residual traces of transporter activity in the vicinity. I believe that the Undine may have been to a hidden ship in orbit. If he has a hidden ship, we'll find it. Oh, okay, so he did go to his own ship. That makes more sense. I recommend we return to the Telsevere and search for the Undine ship. We need to find the Undine and take it back to Starfleet. Not now. There's one more anomaly for me to get. And it's over here. Wow, is it miles away? I wonder if these ones that you really have to run away from, or run miles away for, are more rare things, or they're more likely to give you rare things, possibly? Totally worth it. Yeah, that was a blue thing. Awesome, right. I think that's it. It is. Let's beam up. Uh, Captain, there's an Undine ship on an intercept course. So the Telsby doesn't have the armaments to handle an Undine attack. Starfleet reports that it is sending ships to assist us, but they are about 60 seconds out. We have to hold out until the reinforcements get here, Captain. If we target their torpedoes, we might have a chance. Okay. Uh, right. Okay, so I think I need to take at least one beam off auto fire because... Wow, well, okay. So then when a torpedo comes out... Oh, I couldn't target that one, alright. When a torpedo comes out, I can then just target and use that beam to fire. There you go, like that. There we go. I think that worked, right? And now I've just got to sort of survive. I will... Oh, shield frequency modulation, yeah. It's the tanky one, right? Uh, way too close, actually. No. Oh, well, he, he knocked me away, and that saved me from getting hit. Lovely. Thank you very much. Let's do a bit of that. There we go. Oh. I didn't even have to do that. Can I attract me? Help out my guys a bit. I'm still keeping an eye out for more torpedoes coming my way, more heavy torpedoes. There's one. Oh, I missed it. Oh, wow, well, okay. Just got it. I think one of my other ones must have refreshed and, and targeted it. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, I think with these ships that fire torpedoes, some of the board ships do it as well. They fire really heavy torpedoes. And if your beams are already in a sort of cycle, then they don't intercept it quick enough. Oh, it's still hitting me quite hard, isn't it? Can I just go away and let, let them handle it? Or at least go far away. Oh, great. 
Come on, that didn't seem to hurt me. Fair enough. Don't need the whole heal. This isn't as hard as I thought it would be. It's taking a while. I guess that's not my sort of job, is it? Great. Okay, that hurt a bit more. We'll turn into him and just find some heavy torpedoes here. We can do a decent amount of damage with those just to speed the process up a little bit. But there's a galaxy class ship there. I mean, the Constitution does nothing compared to a galaxy. I'm pretty sure. Is that a steam runner class in there? In the old Armada? That's an Excelsior, I think. That's... Is that an Enterprise C? They're quite rare, I thought. Oh, there you go. Sorry. Fight's over. I was, um, perusing. So, scan the debris. Downloading the data now. Incoming message from the USS Challenger. That was the Galaxy Class on that year. This is Captain LaForge of the USS <laughs> Challenger. Glad to see we made it here in time to lend you a hand. Perhaps you'll return the favor someday. LaForge out. That's new. LaForge was never in the original. We've recovered the final data transmissions from the Undine vessel, as well as samples of the organic material that was used to create the ship. We need to get all of this back to Starfleet Intelligence. They may be able to decrypt the messages and tell us more. Uh, okay, I need to do some scanning. How many are there? There are six again. Okay, uh, let's speed this up. Go. So that is all of the anomalies done. I can now depart the system, uh, which should be the end of the mission. Cool. I think that's done. I just want to take a moment to show full respect for the appearance of Geordie LaForge. That was incredible. The totally unexpected. Oh, that was I'm great. I'm afraid their infiltration of the Federation goes much deeper than we realized. Who knows what kind of havoc they could create? Havoc? Oh, a data recorder. What does that do? Well, it contains messages about the state of various sectors that you have visited. Okay. Um, so I get a new shield and then I can choose the type of torpedo. Uh, one does a lot more damage. Does 10 accuracy. Wait. So they're both plus 10 accuracy. Oh, it's a six second or an eight second recharge. But damage per second is still photon. Does more. All right, so we'll just over that. Cool. That is completed. Uh, okay, I've unlocked a new trade slot apparently. This mission briefing is classified. I've been working with Starfleet Intelligence. Wait. I will come back to you. Um, I've got a new trade slot. Have I? No. These are active traits. You can activate available traits from the list on the right. At, le at level 50, you gain the ability to pick four space abilities and four ground passive abilities from any reputation tier reached. Oh, okay, so that's down here. That's this stuff. Okay. When completing reputations, you will be able to slot four. Reputation and species traits can be slotted and unslotted for free on any social or non combat map. Uh, but I haven't unlocked a new. No, that's not till level 20. I did it at level 10. Okay, so that's a bit of a bug again. Um, all right, okay, so that was the end of do, 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 Diplomatic Orders, which was incredible. Again, really good. I love that kind of story. I think it was, it was really well done. Um, and the appearance of George LaForge just topped it off. I could never say anything bad about that mission. Hide and Seek will be the next one. But for now, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying. I hope you did enjoy. I hope you will enjoy. 
But by far, the most important thing is to look forward to the next episode of Star Trek Online. Thank you.